Hey guys, it's Tracy. So today I'm going to be doing our April favorites. Um, I do have a couple things. Um, pretty much everything is beauty, like always. And I do have a product that I absolutely hate and I can't believe I bought it and I will never ever buy it again. So, but uh, for right now, the things that um, I've been loving this month were um, for my hair, um, I did put a lot of highlights and foils and things in it this month. So I wanted to make sure that I was keeping it moisturized and um, just really in good repair. So I've been using um, these two products here. Um, this one is a 10 um, Miracle Even Plus Keratin. And then I got this at Ulta when I think I spent like $25. And it's really, really nice and I really, really like it. And it does help with um, tangling your hair and um, keeping it really soft and silky. Well, that one's really awesome you guys I definitely would recommend it especially if you color treat your hair a lot um, even with the hair tin, like you know putting protein back in your hair is always a good thing and then um, I use um, taming elixir by Sebastian and this stuff's awesome I use it at in our salon at school and it's um, a, a cream serum I use it for a detangler and you know it smells awesome and it really moisturizes your hair um, so I'm loving that and then um, one other product I've been using in my hair is um, the Wella Oce Ocean Spritz um, spray and this stuff's awesome like I have um, wavy hair and if you get really frizzy like I do this is an awesome product to throw in your hair and it you just kind of spritz it and like crunch up your hair it's awesome you guys um, I definitely would recommend or look, you definitely looking into this product um, and it really gives you like beach waves and it holds and it smells good and it doesn't make your hair crunchy so totally check this out if um, you have like you know curly wavy hair um, so on to some face products that I've been really liking this month um, I've started using again my BB cream my um, Garnier in medium deep and this is for combo to oily skin I do my makeup almost every single day for school, but on the days, Wednesdays and Fridays, and when I'm not on the salon floor and having to deal with customers, I throw this on in the morning. Don't need a concealer, nothing. It blends in beautifully with your skin. Um, I have really oily skin, but it's been a little bit dry lately. But this stuff is awesome. I highly, highly recommend this. And um, it, it pretty much dries to like a satin finish but um i do recommend um putting a powder over this but um been really really liking uh the bb cream from Garnier. and then i've been using um maybelline new york baby skin instant pore er eraser this looks really good you guys um i've been using this for a good two weeks now and i can totally tell a difference um right in my t-zone area is where i have most of my pores um, I definitely think that you, I would definitely recommend this, um, if you do have, uh, big pores. So, yeah, I think it works really good. And I do have the, uh, professional, um, from Benefit also, in, like, in a sample size. And I think this is, like, you know, pretty much the same thing for that. So it's just a little bit cheaper, though, too. But very, very good product. Um, another thing I've been using, um, my... NYC HD um, concealer in medium. I really, really like this product a lot because um, it's a cream product and it blends really well with my foundation that I've been using at the moment. And it's my I'm using um, my Mac Studio Fix right now, and I just it's a great all around product, you guys. Um, I put it under my eyes and you know on my problem areas. And it really does cover up very, very nicely. And um, I definitely would uh, recommend this to um, someone for sure. And then I went back to a super old favorite, um, like even back in high school. Um, I've been using my Physician's Formula uh, translucent powder um, to set all my makeup and to set like the BB cream that I told you about a little bit ago. It's just a really, really, really good powder, you guys. Um, it looks like it would have color, but, um, it really doesn't. Um, it's pretty, pretty sheer. And it just keeps me mad all day, and it keeps my makeup on, and 
Um, I think this retails for about like $13, which is a little expensive for a powder, but um, it really, really works, and I would definitely give this a try. So, yeah. And then another thing is, is I've been uh, um, using my sample from from Myron, um, the uh, barrier spray to hold my makeup on. This stuff's awesome, you guys. I'm totally gonna buy the bigger size. I just bought this because I didn't really know if I would really like it a lot. But this stuff's amazing. I can like put this on and go to sleep and my makeup will like my eye makeup and you know will pretty much still be there the next day it's awesome I don't know what they put in this but it's really really good and it hasn't broke me out or anything at all so definitely going to buy a bigger one of this but if you're looking for a good um, setting spray for your makeup um, Myron barrier spray I think is awesome you guys especially and it says that it's really good for cream products too so okay so those are all of my favorites for um, April, but the one thing I absolutely despise, I even tell people, like, do not buy this. Um, I tried the Batiste um, Tint of Color Light and Blonde because I'm getting, like, you know, my darker roots, unfortunately. But I've used Batiste products before. I love the dry shampoos. They're amazing. I've tried the original. I've tried um, the Wild and the Sassy. And they're so good and they smell awesome. This one has no smell and it turns your hair, not kidding, it turns you mustard yellow. Like, no lie. I used this one day because I ran out of um, the one I was using at the time. And I was like, oh, I don't have time to shower and get ready for school. So I was like, my hair's kind of greasy, so I'm going to use this. I shit you not. Shit you not that I sprayed this on my hair and it made it yellow and nasty and disgusting. I let it dry for a little bit, tried to blend it in with my hair. It didn't happen. It transferred on my clothing. So mad. And I thought I was sitting in class and I was just messing with my hair, you know, kind of like fluffing it up. I had powder on my hands from this. Yellow. So I will never, I'm taking this back to Ulta, hopefully, I don't have a receipt or anything, but I've only used it once, and so I'm hoping I can get, like, a refund or, you know, a different product, because this stuff is no good, and I definitely do not recommend this at all. So, shit product. Don't like. Okay. So, that is all of everything for April that I've been really really liking and disliking so leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite product was and I'll talk to you guys later